become level. What's going on everybody general 305 back again another sneaker review video for y'all and today man we got the vapor maxes on deck now this vapor max is a little different from the originals this one's called the vapor max 2021 fknn this is the black university gold colorway i ended up picking these joints up from the outlet for a steal these joints were $109 at the outlet. Now y'all know Vapor Max joints are expensive as hell. Vapor Maxes usually run for like 220, 250 I've seen, upwards of 250. But you know, these ones 109, I said, yeah, we gotta get these joints. So I just wanted to get these joints real quick, tell y'all that they out at the outlets for the low. And uh, you guys should go pick these joints up. Vapor Maxes are pretty solid. You might get a little squeaking on the, the outsole, you know, the more you wear them and all of that stuff, but it is a solid shoe and it's a good looking shoe. This is a decent colorway to grab, all right? So before I get started breaking down the shoe, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video with your family and friends, all those things that everyone else says in their videos, please do that here. It really helps the channel grow and I appreciate that growth. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram for all the latest and greatest updates. Go ahead and check out the Reels page. The Reels page is popping. And last but not least, go ahead and follow us in the Discord. The Discord link is in the description. Again, the Discord link is in the description. So go ahead and follow us there. We got a good community in there. We trade shoes with each other. We buy shoes from each other. And if you want to know where the cops and all of that other stuff, you guys can join us in there and you will see everywhere where we cop shoes, okay? So these right here, retail pair, got these joints from for $109 from the outlet. And just so y'all know, I'm not, I'm not fronting. I will go ahead and grab this Nike tag right here, this joint. I actually end up getting them for $102 right there. Y'all see that? Cause I had a little, my birthday was recent. So, but y'all got these from the outlet, but y'all can see $109 right there, $109. So that's a steal. That's a steal. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can grab these joints. It's worth it. You know what I'm saying? There are shoes out there, just decent shoes out there that y'all can cop. You know, you can get for a really, really good price. So I'm not gonna spend too much time. I just wanna break these down real quick. So got our Vapor Maxes right here. These are fly knitted. I like these. I think the other pair of Vapor Maxes I have are the Vapor Max TL. I got those and those are dope too, but definitely liking this. You got your fly knit material right here on the top. You know what I'm saying? You got all of this. I think this might be the recycled version of it. You got all the little speckles. Usually when you see all those speckles, it's like the recycled material one. And that's what Nike's been doing with a lot of their different products. They're, there's leftover parts and pieces. They, you know, fabrics and glues and all that other stuff they've been putting together shoes with that leftover stuff so you know trying to reduce the uh the human thumbprint or the fingerprint on the world you know what i mean and make it a little bit of a better place to live so i do like that and i support that so got our university gold and black right here the nike sign i like how it's gold and it pops out against the other colors on the shoe so i think that's dope i like this wavy piece here i like that near that heel counter and it's decent you know what i'm saying it's actually really rigid look at that glue right there you guys can see it's kind of a sloppy glue job right there for retail but it is an outlet shoe so whatever you know what i'm saying a lot of the stuff that failed or qc or didn't really pass qc does get pushed out to the outlet so you know you guys can see that that might be something that probably deemed it to be out at the outlet i'm not sure but still nice i like the outsole you got your red right here kind of fading into some pinkish and then you got your blue on the other side and then on the heel right here you got your vapor max i think that's cool i do like this right here this pull tab and the medial side of the shoe looks pretty similar to the lateral side of the shoe so nothing spectacular there the tongue of the shoe i really like this i like these yellow hits right here and then the laces right here like that nothing special with the tongue it's kind of it fits like a sock so you, you guys know you know what I mean? If you ever have Vapor Maxes. And I do like this Vapor Max branding right here. So I do like that. I think that's pretty cool. Got some flat style laces, but then they kind of change 
at the top, uh, this is different. So you got like a flat style at the top, but it changes into almost like a rope lace right here. So you guys can see that. You see how they flattened it out right there and then they changed it. So I feel like that is pretty cool. I've never seen laces do that before. So I like that. Also the shoe, they changed this. I mean, it used to look a little different. But this is, I guess, the new style of the Vapor Max outsole. Not bad, I like it. You know, you got your speckles in there, so pretty cool. Maybe this helps with the squeaking, maybe. I'm not sure, but I know it feels like it's got some rigidness to it. Like it'll, it'll stick to the floor and grip the floor when you wear it, so that's pretty cool. Standard tissue paper in these joints. And here is the insole of the shoe, it's yellow. Nothing crazy, but you can tell that this has been like recycled material kind of smashed together or put together in some type of way and i do like that you know what i'm saying so pretty cool i think that's the logo for the recycled material for the shoes that they have so not bad there and this shoe right here holds the tag with the made with at least 20 percent recycled content so they're getting there i mean it's not fully recycled but they're getting there and it says right here move to zero so there's the logo right there you guys can I guess scan that if you want to learn more about that. That's pretty cool. And then, you know, you just got a whole bunch of different stuff in here. Maybe this is their mission statement or something like that. So it says, you know, move to zero is Nike's journey towards zero carbon and zero waste and all of that. So that's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? So not bad. If I had to rate this shoe on a scale of one to 10, I I would give it, you know, I'd, for the, I'd, I'd probably give it a quick, um, I'd give it a solid seven. You know what I'm saying? I like it. It's not bad. There's clearly other colorways out there, Vapor Maxes that are much better, but I do like this one. For construction of materials, I gotta give them a 10 because they're trying to recycle things. You know what I'm saying? So I'll give them a 10 for that. You know what I mean? Like, I really love the effort. I love what they're trying to put forward. Granted, they're just telling us that they're recycling stuff. Maybe they're not, but I would like to think that they are. So I'll give them a 10 for that, all right? So this is all I got for this shoe. I hope this shoe was informative for y'all. Y'all know I'll be trying to find shoes for the low for y'all. So this is a decent shoe for the low, $109. If you got a little discount, you can get it for 102 like me, all right? So that's all I got for this one, y'all. Until the next video, y'all stay humble, y'all stay blessed. Peace.